hey what's up guys it's eric with another video and in today's video i'm gonna give you um, the fastest ways to get broke you know it's crazy how nowadays nobody wants to become rich again everybody want to become broke so um i'm gonna give you guys the fastest and the easiest ways to get broke but before i get started please don't forget to like and subscribe and you know this video may be speaking to you directly to begin with the fastest way to go broke is nightclubs yeah i said it nightclubs you want to go and impress ladies let me tell you guys something let me tell you guys something nightclubs are very strategic you know nightclubs make you it gives you the urge to become how can i say it? it gives you the urge to want to spend to want to prove something okay take for example today you enter a nightclub for example you enter a nightclub then once you enter you see the vip booth and you see someone spending close to seven thousand dollars on casamigos what is your next reaction you know i want to be like that guy i want to do that too i need to do that too i want to do that i i have to do that tomorrow you see yourself you know i don't know what you do you struggle to get a little bit of money and it creates an addiction which is extremely dangerous for you i always tell people this like <laughs> if you want to make money you know stay away from nightclubs because they are fake you know i've worked in a club and i promise you there are some tables you have some promoters where the bottles they don't consume you understand they can do a vip tour like the ladies come with the bottle but the condition is you don't open the bottle go to a vip booth and observe they don't consume there you know it's to attract broke people like us you know <laughs> they are attracting broke people like us it's for broke people like us to be able to consume so like i always say um stay out of nightclubs if you want to make it you know if you want to make it stay out of nightclubs so let's go to number two number two it's sex yeah yeah no but eric how is sex gonna make me broke how is sex gonna make me lose money how is sex gonna you know the truth of the fact is today sex costs money you understand you know the girl you love she's gonna tax you that's the sad truth about it. Oh, there's no lawyer girl. There are no lawyer girls here. Yeah, there are no lawyer girls here. Yeah. I say this. Please stay out of sex. If you want to make it. Like, if you want to really, like, make this money, you've got to stay out of sex. Reduce your sexual addiction. You need to stay out of of sex because you become an idiot forgive me for saying that <laughs> not precision but you become thirsty towards your desires like take for example you had a project you had a very big project you're thinking about something but now this urge of sex it how can i say it 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 eats you up it eats you up you start seeing yourself in masturbation you start seeing yourself going looking for the closest prostitutes you start seeing yourself you know you 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 are consumed you're depressed you know you feel like you can't even have proper relations because every girl you meet you know you're struggling to enter her pants you know it, it, it destroys every aspect you become less productive you lose money you lose money like bro if you want to keep losing money if you want to keep losing money please stay in sex please continue 
you know, let your sexual desires eat you up. You know, I don't, I don't casual. I say things the way they are. And yeah, a lot of people are going to say, oh, blah, blah, blah. oh, it's human nature. It's human nature. Okay, it's human nature. It's true. But, you know, if you want to progress, the next thing is to stay out of sex. Sex is consuming you. Sex destroys you. It destroys your ability to think. And sex goes in accordance with alcohol, with smoking, with with, with drinking. Let me tell you, even even the music you listen, you listen. If you're a rap a rap fan addict, you know you're a porn addict. What you con you are what you consume. You know, someone who wants to, if you wanna fight against your sexual addiction. You need to fight against alcohol and cigarettes. And, you know, all of that, it's one family. Because once you start drinking, you want to have sex. Once you want to have sex, you, so stay out of sex. Do you know how much money you lose to sex? Do you know how much money? You're going to lose so much money to that. You're going to lose a lot. Number three is living above your means. You work at McDonald's. You work at Starbucks. If you're not even making more than 35000 a year, this is you struggling to rent cars. This is you struggling to buy clothes. <laughs> Who are you deceiving? Are you deceiving us? You are deceiving your own self. You want to lose money? Or you want to make money? All the Jordans in your room. You have clothes that you have not worn for 10 years, but you bought them because. You know, I'm not saying... Uh, some, pe- some people come and cry over here. Oh, but Eric, it's part of me, my money. I want to do this with my money. I want to I wanna be like this. It's, it, it's, it's my mental health. I spend to do this. Okay, keep up. Keep up. I don't know if being broke, or, or, because a lot of people think you know you can't justify having much money to spend it. I understand it because once you cultivate these little habits from the very start, it grows. I understand it. It, it, it. How can I put it? It's 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 a uh, it, it, it becomes um, an addiction. If you can't save, if you can't manage fifty dollars, it's not when you have five million dollars that you'll be able to manage. Cause if I give some people five million dollars, the first thing they'll think of, yeah, some people say, yeah, or invest, or invest the money. I'll start a company. How can you waste five million dollars? How I'll be able to manage? But don't forget, having the money and speaking about it is two different worlds. Remember your first ten thousand dollars or your first five thousand dollars. What did you do in? The other day I was reading a story, on. I was reading a story on on Instagram, and there's this young guy. He inherited wealth from his grandmother. He inherited more than fifty thousand dollars. A young boy, a young guy. A young black dude. He inherited $50,000. And guess what he did with those $50,000? He bought two concert Beyonce ticket concert tickets. His, him and his girlfriend were in the first row. So that's about $40,000. He bought it for his girlfriend. Both of them, they went.
that sex the lady you love her too much it falls under the category of sex number two addictions you know you're addicted you know you want to snap pictures you want to are you understanding <laughs> number three i put it under the category of clubs you're not what are you doing in a beyonce's concert for forty thousand dollars your girlfriend wants to see beyonce If the ticket is more than two hundred dollars, there's no need. Beyonce's concert is thirty minutes or sorry, two hours. That's someone who is poor in mentally mentally poor. Are you understanding? So I keep telling people. Number four, get rich quick schemes. Look at the top 100 richest people on earth. They took time to build their brands. You want to invest $50 and get $1 billion. How is that possible? How is that possible? How do you want to invest $50 and get $1 billion? Who does that? Which business does that? If you're investing $50 billion, if you're investing $50, then you should be able to invest 9% of your... Oh, sorry, you have to, you'll be able to invest close to 20 hours per day. Overnight riches will make you broke. You buy a course for one dollar. You wanna be a, a billionaire the next night. You wanna make fifty one hundred thousand dollars the next night. <laughs> you see yourself buying courses to courses to buying programs to programs to programs. Come back to your senses, you know. It takes time. It takes time. Everything takes time. So, in the comment section, thanks for watching. In the comment section, I want to know your best way to go broke. And, you know, if you like this content, I want you to subscribe, comment, and like. And, yeah. Thank you guys for staying up to the end and I'm going to bring out more content like this and I hope um, this helps a lot of people and okay, um, thanks for watching to the end and have a great and wonderful day, bye.